And that's the highly anticipated Iron Man 2, which blasted into theaters last night and officially kicked off the summer blockbuster season. Here to review that superhero sequel, plus give us a sneak peek at some of the other May movie releases, our film critics, Tony Scott, Michael Phillips, host of At The Movies. Good morning, guys. Good to morning, see you Chris. both. Chris. All right, let's start with that. What did you guys think? Well, I, 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 I got to say, I love the first Iron Man. Two years ago, that was such a nice surprise, and to get... That kind of blockbuster in the same summer as The Dark Knight, it, it spoiled us forever. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the sequel is okay, but disappointing. I like I liked that a little less than this guy. Yeah, I, I liked it not so much because of the action sequences and the, you know, the big fights with the guys in metal suits, but it's a very funny and very well-written uh, movie, and the cast is great. Robert Downey Jr., Gwyneth Paltrow, Mickey Rourke is yeah. a terrific villain. It's also great, too, is that the, that part is actually taken very seriously, so it's not a campy, over-the-top turn. You know, yeah. Rourke is a serious actor, believe me. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. And, and, yeah, very, very intense, scary. Yeah. What about the relationship between Tony Stark and Gwyneth Paltrow's? You know? and that was one of the best things about the first film. And I think yeah, it still think, works in this yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, they, so they have a so great <laughs> sort of uh, screwball vibe going. And what are we thinking nice. as far as box office first weekend for this thing? Uh. You know, I mean, maybe it's somewhere in the north of 75 or 100 million, yeah, probably. It, it, I think it, people love the goodwill from the first film is so yeah, big yeah. that it's just going to take a right And there's a lot of sort of catch up. I mean, second, the, the second sequel often does better than the first one because people yeah. have come along, seen it on DVD. Yeah. Kids have discovered it. Um, so it's right. going to be quite big. So much buzz, but the reviews are, are so so. Next. Yeah, Next. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Robin Hood right now. And this is uh, Russell Crowe. Um, looks to me like Gladiator, only. Different plot. Right. A few years later, uh, a different a different era <laughs> altogether. I liked it more than uh, this man, but yeah. uh, I, I think it's it's less of a dessert and more of a meal. It's two and a half hours. It's uneven. Yeah. But I think once you get the first 45 minutes out of the way, it becomes a pretty compelling story. Well, and, and Russell Crowe is good. I mean, he's good at this kind of thing. He's good at taking these sort of, you know, angry, macho, serious guys and, and giving them a little bit of twist, a little twinkle, a little mischief. Um, Kate Blanchett is pretty good. Yeah. It does feel a little bit um, like a retread, as you say, of, of, of Gladys. Let's talk about uh, Shrek uh, Forever After. I mean, these always do well. This one's now in 3D. I mean, do they usually do that? I mean, if it's like, okay, we want to do another sequel, let's just put it in 3D and throw it out. Well, well that, that, this, is now, yeah. this, is, this is where things are going right now. Yeah, I mean, especially I, in animation. Yeah, I, mean, I think this segment is in 3D, is it not? Right now? <laughs> yeah. No, we're not. But I mean, we have not seen Shrek, Shrek yet. We haven't seen things like Sex in the City 2, yeah. for example. I want to talk to you about that, Sex in the City 2. They're now having sex overseas, apparently. <laughs> I've heard they have more of it overseas, actually. <laughs> but yeah, this is another movie where there's just so much buzz. And the first one did do well. Are you yeah. expecting the same from the, the sequel? I, 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 I think, so. think so. Although it, it may be just a little past its prime. I mean, it's now, you know, I think, I think what, 10 years since yeah. the, the TV series was really kind of the, the, the hot ticket. But people like these characters, like these actresses, and I think people just, you know, especially women, go to just have a good time and, and visit. And, with, and here's, uh, what I'm, here's what I'm hoping for the sequel. I hope that sequel has more of the comic spirit of the TV TV series, which I, I enjoyed a lot, yeah. and the film was was not bad. The first film, but it was more more of a soap opera, more serious, and yeah. we'll see how the balance is in the sequel. Let's talk about uh, Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time. This is a video game, hugely popular. This is Jake mm -hmm. Gyllenhaal. Um, it comes to this movie, it looks like he's been in prison with this physique. <laughs> right, right. Well, it's 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 this is kind of a kind of a, a cold start franchise. I mean, certainly they're hoping to get a string of films out of this. Um, I don't think this is the kind of film that that can open big on its own. It actually has to be good yeah. so yeah. Uh, uh, the burden shifts to the quality of the picture you know unlike Iron Man 2 which I'm not saying it's a lousy film but uh, people would show no matter yes, what. Well, it has it has the brand it has it has the franchise it has the you know the enormous interest from the first one this right. is it is it is always a gamble I think for for a studio to, to come out even if it's based on something that's very popular as in this case the, the video game to sort of start it up and and, and get people really we will excited. have to wait we'll and see. see but this weekend is all about Iron Man 2 Michael Phillips Tony Scott thank you guys very much a lot happens early on the early show weekday mornings on CBS